good evening. I'm going to show you the procedure on how to take vital signs. Vital signs are taken in the following indication. Upon admission of the patient, um, as per the mu score of the patient, after receiving the patient from the operation procedure, and during blood transfusion, on the start of the shift protein. Um, here with me, all the vital sign equipment. I made it sure that it's all clean and functional. I have with me the blood pressure, blood pressure, or we call it a spigmanometer, to check the blood pressure. And I have with me the stethoscope uh, to check the heart rate. And I have with me the uh, pulse oximeter to check the oxygen saturation. And I have with me the glucometer to check the uh, blood sugar level. And I have the different kind of thermometer. Uh, digital, tympanic, and infrared. Uh, digital where, where we can um, use axillary, orally, and rectally. As well, I have the uh, pain, assessment, uh, pain assessment tools to assist the pain. Using the oral thermometer, position the patient properly, ensure that the patient um, has not drunk, hot or cold, smoke, uh, chewing gum for past 20 minutes. Ask the patient to open the mouth and raise a tongue. Uh, place the oral probe tip on, uh, on the tongue based on one side. Ask the person to lower the tongue and close the mouth. Wait for the blip tone and document the result. Now, the next, thermome next thermometer that we are going to use is the rectal thermometer. Position the patient properly in same position. Apply lubricant jelly over the probe tip. Expose the anal area. Raise the upper buttocks. Insert the probe tip half, half inch into the rectum. Hold the probe in a place. Wait for the blip tone. Remove the probe. Remove the probe. Cleanse the thermometer with water. Wash it because it's dirty because it came from anal. And then document the result. It is very important as well if uh, the rectal thermometer is seldom used. It is uh, normally used for the newborn babies to check if their anal is open. Now, um, using the axillary thermometer, expose the patient's axilla. Um, it, if it's wet, dry it with tissue or towel. And place the probe into the center of axilla. And place the person arm over the chest. Hold the probe. Wait for the blip tone, and document the result. Now, the another um, body temperature is using the tympanic temp thermometer. Dispose the cover the thermometer with a probe, disposable cover. Cover. Position the patient properly. Air is it in front of you. Yeah. Pull back the air gently. Insert the covered probe. Press the button on. Hold in place until you hear the black tone. Read the result. Press the eject button. Discard properly. The probe cover. And document the result. Now, uh, using the infrared thermometer, place the thermometer two in at least two inches away from the forehead. Press on the trigger on button. Wait for the blip tone. And read the result and document the result. And how to check the pulse rate and respiratory rate? Position the patient properly. Elbow on the ninety degrees. Hand rest on the table. Using the index and middle finger, um, using the index and middle fingertips, locates the radial pulse thumb, side rest, and press it lightly to feel the pulse. Or bring the hand of the patient to the chest. Note if the pul pulse is regular rhythm, weak or strong. Using my watch with a second hand, 
the number of pulsation, pulsation count in one full minute and documents the result. Now, checking the respiratory rate. While your finger are still in the pla place with the patient, hands of the, on the chest, for the pulse check, pretend that you are still checking the pulse, but observe the patient respiration, the rise and fall and the, on the, of the patient chest. Note for the dip shallow or dip and rhythm, fast and slow. Count in full one minute. Remove the hands from the patient chest and document the result. Now, how to check the heart rate. Using my stethoscope, warm the diaphragm. Check on the heart rate by placing it over 2 to 3 inches. To the left of the breastbone below the left nipple count the heart rate for one full minute notes for the rhythm if it's regular or irregular documents the result now for the fifth vital sign the fifth vital sign is pain and how to assist pain if the patient are not complaining in pain use the uh, VAS, Visual Analog Scale, or <laughs> Visual Acuity Severity. Uh, if the patient complaining in pain, assist by acronym called SPA. Consist, called SPA means consist character of the pain. Example, stabbing or burn, onset of the pain. Is it from yesterday or the other day? Location of the pain. Example, is it from the headache, temporal area, or abdominal area? And duration of the pain. How long it was the pain? It was 30 minutes or 1 hour? And as severity of the pain. Example, uh, is it uh, severity of the pain? You can use the tool or the scale. And then the pattern, uh, P, pattern or continuous pain. Example, is it on or off pain? pain or is it from fever or product of ache? Uh, associated sign symptom. Is it cannot eat or from fever? So that was the cold spa. And then documents the result. Next is how to check the uh, oxygen saturation. Uh, warm the selected warm the selected uh, side SpO2 air lube, air lube to our finger. Start the oximeter uh, by pressing on. Okay. And insert or clip the finger on the device. Wait until the result appear, And then document the result. Okay. Then the next is how to check the blood pressure how to check the blood pressure using by speed manometer okay precautions to be considered precautions to be considered um before taking the blood pressure do not take the bp on the site of infusions fast dialysis uh sorry on the site of iv infusion Cast dialysis access site or breast surgery or injured. Ask the RN if not sure which arm to use at least 20 minutes rest for the patient. Okay, position the patient properly. Arm level of the heart, heart palm up. Expose the arm. Uh, Expose the arm where the cup is to be applied. Okay. We squeeze the cup to expel remaining air. Close the valve of the bulb. And then find the brachial or artery using by index and middle fingertips. Place the arrow of the cup.
place the arrow of the cuff, wrap the cuff around the arm, Place the, uh, wrap the cup around the arm at least one inches above the elbow. Even, even snugly and, even and snugly. Attach the BP gauge. Attach the BP gauge and cup for the aneroid type. And place the stethoscope, place the stethoscope around the neck. Locate the radial pulse. Locate the radial pulse. Inflate the cup with the right hand. Inflate the cups with the right hand until pulse is not felt. Note the reading from the gauge. Place the stethoscope. Place this stethoscope on the airpiece and both ears and, the, the, and diaphragm on brachial artery. Using with the left hand by pressing the diaphragm, losing, using by the left hand by artery using the left hand pressing the diaphragm with the index middle finger, with the index middle finger, um, infl def deflate the cup slowly 2 to 4 millimeter by bob screw counterclockwise note that the point note the point when the first sound is heard called systolic pressure continue deflating continue deflating note the point Note the point, the sound disappears where we call it diastolic pressure. Remove, remove the stethoscope from the air. Deflate the cup completely. Remove from the patient's arm. Position the patient properly and document the result. Now, for the next vital sign that we are going to use is how to check the blood sugar level uh it it depends on the uh indication of the doctor if the patient is diabetic you need to check the blood sugar level but if the patient is not uh, diabetic it depends on the indication of the doctor check the expiry date if the strips verbalize, how many days the expiration of the strips upon opening it and the level? It should be 180 days upon the opening. Wear the gloves. Non-sterile. Okay. Using the lancet holder, Using the lancet holder, remove the cover, okay, and remove the needle. Uh, remove the needle cover and do not throw. Okay, cover the, the lancet holder, adjust, adjust the depth. Of break indicated. Indicated in the lancet cover. So, I should prepare four or five. Select the finger. Select the finger. Cleanse with the alcohol swab. And let it dry. Turn on the glucometer. Turn on the glucometer. Insert the strip.
insert the strips into the glucometer. As indicated in the screen, pull the plunger. Pull the plunger of the lancet holder and press it against cleansed and dried finger on one side. And then squeeze lightly to the, from the freak finger. Drop the plug with the strips as indicated. Apply light pressure on the punctured finger with a dry gauge on or cotton. Wait for the result. To show the in the screen, note the result. Turn off the glucometer. Remove the strip. Turn off the glucometer. And remove the strip. Remove um, Turn off the glucometer Remove the strip and the lancet press the release Press the release And Press the release button the reject Eject the used lancet sharp container And dispose to the sharp container. Doff, doff the gloves used. And throw it in the garbage. Hand rub. Or hand wash. Hand rub by sanitizing uh, or gel. And then. Documents the result. Report all the results to the RN, especially abnormal results, for the proper immediate management. And that's all how we take the vital signs. I thank you.